AFC Bournemouth have made their first signing of the summer. And that signing happened yesterday. It was announced at eight o'clock by the football club. And that signing is a certain Justin Clybert. Now, I'm pretty sure that you've probably heard his name. Never, though, in a million years did you expect an AFC Bournemouth badge to be on the front of his shirt. Probably an AC Milan badge, just like his dad. Of course, Justin Cliver is the son of Patrick. And also, his grandfather was quite a good player himself as well. He does have two other brothers as well in football. Um, We'll go through all of that in this show. Well, let's start off at the most obvious. And everybody who knows what they're talking about will know all about Patrick Clivert. Of course, Patrick Clivert was an Ajax legend. He started off at the football club just like Justin did. But he then went to play for AC Milan before moving to Barcelona. And at Barcelona... 182 games, 90 goals. That is really where he made his name. He made his name in the Dutch team as well. And he has an extensive record. Patrick Kluivert is probably one of the most recognised footballers in the world. Oh, uh, did we say he played for Newcastle at one point as well? Well, he, he did. After leaving Barcelona, he did play for Newcastle for a little bit as well. He didn't make many games. But he has an extensive list of honours. And those honours go through international caps. They also go to honours that have been won for his teams. Didn't really win much at Barcelona, to be fair. He won the La Liga in 1998-99. But Ajax was the place where he made his name. And Patrick made his name winning the Eredivisie in 94-95 and also the following season as well. But the big one, really, is the UEFA Champions League. Surely everybody will remember that Ajax team of those years. The team from the Dutch League, which, let's be fair, wasn't the strongest at the time, but seemed in Europe just to beat everybody. It was full of quality, full of splendour, and it showed that Patrick Kluivert was one of those players that was going to always go on to bigger and better things. He finished fourth in the World Cup in 1998, won a bronze medal in Euro 2000. There was so much that he did. He came fifth in the Ballon d'Or. He won the Golden Boot. He was in the team of the tournament in Euro 2000. Yeah, England didn't really have that great a time. That's why we probably don't remember it. He's gone into management and he's even managed the Caracal national side fairly recently as well. He's also been the manager of the Ajax youth team as well as the assistant in the Netherlands as well. So there's a lot that Patrick has done. But what about Justin and what he can bring to the table? Well, Justin, believe it or not, um, started off his career, not at Ajax, but a side called SV Diamond in the Netherlands. He then moved on to Ajax in 2007, and he was in the youth setup, eight games, two goals in the youth setup before he did move to the full team. Now, I remember back in that time, he was actually featured in the 442 magazine. And to be fair, there's loads of players, loads of youth players throughout the years that have been mentioned and noted about in those pages. And some of them make it, some of them don't. But of course, I remembered that because of the name Clivert. You would expect a Clivert never to play for AFC Bournemouth. Whilst his father, Patrick, was there in the twilight years of his career, playing for Lille and PSV, we were struggling to keep our head above water. When the Winter Gardens was happening, he was at AC Milan, just ready to take his first step at Barcelona. Well, it says it all, really, how far AFC Bournemouth have come. From Ajax, though, um, Justin actually left for around about 18 million euros to go to Roma. Um, And he's played 53 times, scoring five goals. 
for the Italian side. He's also been on loan fairly recently, though, um, starting off by going to Germany for Red Bull Leipzig. And there he went and played 19 games, scoring three times. For Nice, he played 27 times and scored four goals. And then most recently, Valencia, where he's played 26 times and scored six goals. Justin Clivert was the youngest Roma player to actually score in the Champions League as well, um, actually scoring the fourth goal in a 5-0 win against Victoria Pleasant in October 2018. He also scored for the first time in Serie A in a win over Genoa as well, a 3-2 win. Um, his number, believe it or not, and I don't know whether or not this is going to be something that he will do, is 99. So for the first time, we might have a number 99 on our books. Um, that's something that you wouldn't expect back in the auto windscreen shield final of 1998, would it really? Um, of course, we just used numbers 1 to 11. Um, but of course, this is a whole different ball game. And Justin, what sort of player is he? He's a pacey left winger. Um, he's very good at tracking back, but more comfortable going forwards. He does like to create play as well, from what I've seen. And he seems to score spectacular goals. With Marcus Tavernier on the right and Justin on the left, we could be in for a bit of a treat. We could see some worldies float into the opposition net. Of course, Justin is from a whole family of professional footballers, both past and present. And you go back even further, grandfather Kenneth Cliver, who was a Surinamese footballer. Um, he played only three times for Suriname, scoring twice. But if you look at his track record, a side called SV Robin Hood, he played 345 times, scoring 366 goals. He's also got a number of younger brothers as well. One of those brothers is Ruben, um, who is actually at Utrecht, and he's played 12 times for them. He's only a youngster. He's 22 years old, so he is a bit younger than Justin. But also, he does have another brother who is following in his father's footsteps, and that is Shane. And Shane is only 15 years old, and he is currently at Barcelona himself. So it's exciting times. Of course, what does this mean for AFC Bournemouth? Well, to be fair, it's an outstanding acquisition. It's an acquisition you would never expect the name Clivert to be on a Bournemouth shirt. But next season, you will see just that, maybe with a number 99 on the back. That would be a first as well for the football club. What we will see, though, is somebody who is excited, somebody who is young, somebody who is hungry. And he's already given his first interview to AFC Bournemouth about what his aspirations are to do at this football club. In the Copa de France, he was the runner-up in 2021-22 with Nice. And then prior to that, he was a Europa League runner-up with Ajax in 2016-17. He's also won the Talent of the Future Award. That was back in 2016-17 when they did come runners-up in the Europa League. So there is a lot of prospect for him, a lot of excitement. And what has he come here to win? I can't imagine that we're going to win very much. We could potentially have a cup run. We could get to a semi-final or maybe even a final. But of course, there is some big, big sides in the Premier League. So what has Justin come to AFC Bournemouth for? I think what he's come to AFC Bournemouth for is to be part of something big. He's not won anything at Roma. And therefore, he's wanted to probably be more of the part of the side, somewhere where he can call himself home. He's been on loan the past couple of years. And therefore, at AFC Bournemouth, hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll be able to take one step a little bit closer to being the player that, you know, we can all dream of. 
I'm sure that Justin has made the right move by coming to this football club, especially with Iriola, and he seems to be a player that will fit Iriola's style. Bill Foley has got grand hopes for this football club, and this could be the first sighting of many. What is going to happen next? Nobody knows, but it's an exciting signing. Let us know what you think of the signing of Justin Clivert, and we'll see you in the next video.